cubbies. It's time for Bear Hug 25 from your Appleseed book. Whoop. We're almost finished. Now we've been learning about how God sent the Savior and the Savior is Jesus. J-E-S-U-S, J-E-S-U-S, J-E-S-U-S. Jesus is a Savior. And our last few lessons have taken place in the water. Remember, John was baptizing Jesus at the Jordan. You remember that one? We just learned that. And then we learned about how some men were fishing and they didn't catch any, but then Jesus told them to go back out and then they caught a whole bunch of fish. And then Jesus told them to follow him and he would make them become fishers of men. Yes, they were his disciples. Well, now from the book of Mark, chapter four, and Mark is the second book in the New Testament, we're going to have our next lesson in the water, okay? And even our memory verse comes from that very same book. Oh God. Well, have you ever been in a storm? Because that's what our lesson is about, a great big storm. How did you feel? Oh, if you were ever in a great big, big storm, that can be really, really frightening, can it? Sometimes there are tornadoes and we have to go down in the basement or hurricanes and we have to leave town, right? Or maybe just a great big thunderstorm where it's really loud and you see lots of lightning. Yeah, those can be very frightening, can't they? Well, we're going to hear about this lesson where there's a big storm and they, they, the disciples, were scared. They were scared during this, okay? Well, one day Jesus was teaching people by the sea and he sat in the boat by the water, right in, into the water, so that the people could all hear him. And he taught them and taught them and taught them until the sun came down. And then Jesus said to his disciples, um, let's cross the sea to the other side. So the disciples and Jesus left the crowd of people and set sail on the Sea of Galilee. At first, the way the sea was quiet and calm and Jesus and his disciples, they sailed along on gentle waves. Can you sail along on gentle waves just like this? Oh, a soft breeze blew over the waters. Everything was peaceful, which was probably really great for Jesus and the disciples after their long day, right? And can you guess what Jesus was doing on the boat? Well, they were going really quiet and rocking along. Jesus was sleeping. He was sleeping on the back of the boat on a cushion. But suddenly, a terrible storm came. The wind was blowing. And the waves started to come and they got bigger and bigger and bigger and the boat was being tossed and rocked and water was coming in, almost filling the boat. Oh my goodness. And you know what? The disciples were frightened. They were afraid that they would sink. Wake up, Jesus, wake up, they screamed. Don't you care if we drown? Jesus stood up and said, quiet, be still. Right away, the wind stopped. The waves stopped. The sea was smooth as glass. The storm was gone. Jesus said to his disciples, why are you so afraid? Do you still not believe in me? The disciples looked at Jesus with great big eyes. They were amazed. They had never seen anyone stop a storm. They asked each other, who then is this that even the wind and the sea obey him? Cubbies, have you heard the disciples' words before? Those words that I just read are your memory verse from this week. Let's say it together. You ready? Mark 4, 41. Who then is this? that even the wind and the sea obey him. Cubbies, who is Jesus? Who is Jesus? Jesus is God's son. That is right. Jesus is God's son, the savior. Not only that, Jesus is God. 
Only God could make the wind and the waves obey. Why? Because he created them in the first place. The disciples were amazed by Jesus. He had power over the stormy sea. They should have never been scared because Jesus was with them. Sometimes we feel scared too, don't we? Maybe it's nighttime and we hear a strange noise in the dark, or maybe we feel scared because someone we love is sick. But we don't ever have to be afraid because Jesus is always with us. And when something scary happens, we can trust Jesus because he loves us and cares for us. Jesus is with us. And when something scary does happen, what can we do? Well, maybe we could pray. Ask Jesus for help. help. Ask Jesus to help us to trust him. We can ask Jesus to save us from the situation. We could sing songs praising Jesus or reminding us that he loves us. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. You know, if we're in danger, we should try to get to a safe place, right? If we can, and we should pray. Jesus loves us when we loves it when we pray and we sing to him. And the Lord Jesus, he is our savior. When he lived on earth, he calmed the stormy sea and he did many other amazing things that we can read about in the Bible. He did all these things to show that he was God's son. He is God's son, the savior. So let's pray and thank God that we can trust him. Clap, 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 hands on your lap. Dear Lord, thank you so much that you are powerful and that you are in control of even this, the wind and the waves. Thank you that you will be with us whenever we are scared and even when we're not scared. And thank you um, for reminding us that you love us and that we can always ask you for help and that we can always know that you are with us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye.